Wait, why is Bart Coppens carrying a staff? Did he finally become a wizard? A wizard is never too late, Frodo Baggins. Nor is he too early. A wizard arrives precisely when he means to. No, just kidding. I found a hog moth and it's quite large, but it's also really pretty and it has blue hind wings. Can you see it? So I'm working for a natural reserve right now in southeastern Brazil. It's called Regua. I'm researching the butterflies and moths here and this one right here is worth a video because I want to show you all the cool hog moths from this area for sure. Let me make a close up. If somebody asks me, hey Bart, what do you think are the world's prettiest hog moths? Difficult question to be honest, but I would probably say you, moths from the genus of Eumorpha. Eumorpha are found on the American continent and nowhere else, but they are found from north to central to south America. And today I am studying entomology in a natural reserve in southeastern Brazil. It is called Regua, Reserva Ecológica de Guapiazu. And today I found Eumorpha mechaiscus, one of the many species of hog moth here. And I mean it when I say many, because I believe that we have like one, over 150 species here on the natural reserve. This beauty here is found throughout most of Central America and South America, all the way from Suriname, Venezuela, French Guiana, Ecuador, Southern Brazil and Bolivia to Nicaragua, Costa Rica and Mexico. But occasionally strays can be found as north as Texas. Yeah, if you are in the southern United States, guess what? There is a very tiny probability you can see this one in the wild. That's awesome. Adults of this awesome moth are in the tropics on the wing all year possibly. Although the further north, on northern latitudes, they are more seasonal. Interestingly, the caterpillars of this species seem to feed on Onograsea species. It's a plant family that I have personally never heard of before. Apparently it's a family, a family of flowering plants known as the willow herb family. Actually, the more I think about it, it makes sense. And I have heard about it before. It includes a number of other plants such as willow herb or epilobium or primrose or unotera. And the more I think about it, the more I realize that other hog moths love to use these plants as well. Moths from the genus Eumorpha have a huge proboscis and this allows them to pollinate a wide range of flowers. They also have spectacular colors. That's about it. It's not a long video today. It's gonna be a short video. I hope you enjoyed it regardless. See you next time. Well, that's all. And if you want to see more insects, you subscribe to my channel because I am not done photographing and documenting them. Ciao.